Jerry, guys. Mama Jerry here. And I know it's been a while, and I'm really sorry about that, but I just graduated from college, and I need to kind of get my life together as what I'm going to do for the future and stuff like that. So, haven't been able to make videos, but I've been shooting a lot of videos. So don't worry about that. I have stuff coming. And I've kind of been playing Maple Story for a while. Like a lot. Any chance I get, well, I've been playing Maple Story and Yu-Gi-Oh a lot to prepare for nationals. But that's for a video for a different day altogether. Maybe today, maybe later in the week. I don't know, but that's not for right now. And this is just to show you guys what I've been doing, really. So, I play in Scania. I don't know why I love going to Channel 13. And yeah, my main character is my Aaron. I was able to get to level 183, and it's kind of lacking in power. But it's really strong, but I want it to be stronger. So, I've been kind of playing on other characters to make it stronger. Now you're like, how do you do that? Well, with the, some of the new characters, they made something called link skills. Now these link skills are exactly what they sound like. You have them on one character and you kind of link them to another character. And it's a lot, it was a lot of work, it took some time. I'm glad um, Nexon decided to um, have a 2x event this past weekend so I could get all my characters to the right level. And it was a lot of fun. Just some of these characters, you're not supposed to get to level 120. Other characters, you should. And it was just a lot of fun. Some of these classes are really fun. And yeah, so let's get right into um, what characters I was leveling. So I have my Cannoneer, level 120. His buff is plus 25 to all stats. And something or other, I forgot. But this is a class that you need, and it gives some good. It gives a good buff. My Mercedes, cr uh, dual bowman, dual crossbow man, woman, whatever. Uh, she gives 15% extra exp. Um, my demon slayer and my phantom were ready at these levels, but my demon slayer gives I think 15% extra damage to bosses. My phantom gives me 15% extra critical damage. I got my jet up to level 120. The stats are random, but I think I got like plus 10 to all stats and plus six weapon and magic attack, something like that. This character only gives you a buff that gives you like 100% stance. Don't really need to level it past level 70, but it's a fun class. I should probably level it. Um, my Luminous was my main before. Now um, my Aaron is. I got this 176 a little while ago. And this gives a, so you ignore your your opponent's defense by 15%. That's pretty good. Kaiser gives me 15% extra HP. I like the story. You see how awesome this character looks? My Angelic Buster was able to get this character to, um, I've been had this character since it came out. I just decided to power level it to 120. Gives you like 15% extra damage for 10 seconds. Then we go on to my uh, my Kana. My it gives 10% extra permanent damage, like damage. Then we go to my Hayato. Don't get this past level 70 because Keen Edge is only a level one skill for now. I think maybe until level 210 or something like that. But uh, yeah, this character gives you plus 10 to all stats, plus five weapon and magic attack, which is pretty good. Then you got um, Zenon, which gives plus 10 to all stats, which is pretty good. Uh, you got the Demon Avenger, which gives you plus 10 to your total damage. I should level my Zero up, but it's a lot of work. I need the 2x quest buff thing. Yeah. And then um, my Beast Tamer, um, that gives you 10%. HP and MP, 7% extra damage to bosses, and 7% extra critical damage. So yeah, I put all, um, so I did this before because my standing with no buffs damage was capped at 86,000. So now we're going to see what happens um, when I put all these together. And I'll show you guys in a little bit. One moment. 
So I made a little mistake and actually put one of the characters buffs on this character. But before my damage was about 66,000. I can't really remember. But yeah, so extra low HP and MP. This is my character before everything else. Now I'm gonna show you what it is after the fact. So I didn't know this, but apparently zero you actually get link skill that you can give out. I'm not sure really at what level, but mine is at level three right now. And incoming damage is reduced by 9% and you ignore your enemy defense by 6%. So overall 21% damage ignored. That's pretty good. And I think I have like 30% of my Aaron already, so that's good. Alright guys, so we got all of I I saw this. Uh, we got all of our buffs. Now let's just get some stuff out of the storage. That's good. Ooh. Uh -huh. Let's put some stuff away. My damage right now, without these equips, right? 86,722. Now that's amazing. Now let's put these on. That. That away. Earrings. That ring on. Shoes on. Uh, and my damage right now is... 100,441. That's just standalone without buffs. Now that is amazing. Now, let's see how it is with buffs. All right, let's go over here to make it go faster. So, I decided to show you guys what my damage is before and after the buff. So right now, just 100,441. You can see what my damage is about. There you go. So yeah, that's um, that damage. Now, let's put on our buffs. So, just have to wait for a moment. So yeah, put on our damage. All right, so this boosts us to about 147,000. Now, 114,000. Now let's see this. Uh, let's move that to the side. So my max damage with my buff is 139,734, right? Now, let's use the Angelic Busters. Link skill, which boosts my damage 176,506. Let me show you what that's like. Remember the damage before? I was just breaking 100. Remember that damage you saw before? Yeah. Let's put this on. Alright. Now, where is it? Uh, yeah, you see all that? Yep. That's my damage, guys. And yeah, so that's what I've been doing. And hope you guys liked the video. Remember to like, comment, subscribe. This is Momo Jerry here. And I'll catch you guys next time.